Carlos runs up a hill and stops at a sign mounted on a dead tree. A curled branch points in one direction like a mangled finger. The sign reads, Snud. Another branch points in the opposite direction with the sign reading, Queest. Tweedledum gives a bewildered look. He grabs Alice's hand. This way. East to Queest. No, south to Snud. No, 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 this way. The giant bird swoops toward them. It grabs the twins in its talons and carries them off. Alice watches as the bird soars over a field of crooked branches, which smack the boys' faces as they hang upside down. The bird dives into a valley. As it swoops low over the barren ground, Tweedledee and Tweedledum exchange frightened looks. The bird arrives at a castle surrounded by jagged mountains. Pennants fly atop red spires, which pierce the air above ornate white towers. The bird soars over a courtyard, where a hedge pruned like a woman's head guards an entrance. Inside the castle, a petite woman with an unusually large head throws open a set of double doors. Someone has stolen three of my toes! A small crown rests on her red hair, which frames her head like a heart. She storms over to a line of uniformed frogs. Did you steal them? No, Your Majesty. Did you? No, Your Majesty. Did you steal them? No, Your Majesty. She stops at the last foot frog and stares down at him suspiciously. His eyes dart toward hers, then nervously shift to look straight ahead. The angry queen turns away and paces back down the line of tiny valets. The nervous frog's throat bulges as he swallows. The queen turns. From beneath her tall patches of blue eye shadow, she stares fixedly at the nervous frog. She purses her lips, which are painted at the center in the shape of a heart, and steps in front of him. A group of human courtiers watches as the queen leans toward him. Did you steal my dog? Oh, Your Majesty. A trace of juice colors the corner of the frog's mouth. The queen wipes it away with her finger and tastes it. Squidberry juice. I was so hungry! I didn't mean to. Open the bed, my family! Two knights drag him off. Almost as much as I love caviar. Yes, you may. As she sits in a heart-shaped throne, a fish butler appears. Twink! He brings over a tray with a red glass, and the queen sips the drink from a tall straw. Majesty. The man with the eye patch kisses the queen's hand. Beloved Majesty, you came. Where have you been lurking? Majesty, I have found the oracle. He unfurls it across her lap. What? Looks so ordinary if an oracle. Look here. I'm afraid you stay. She examines the drawing of Alice in the Jabberwocky. I'd know that tangled mess of hair anyway. Is it Alice? I believe it is. What are you doing with my darling Jabberwocky? She appears to be slaying it. She killed my Jabberwocky! Not yet, but it will happen if we... Don't stop her. Find Ellis, Stain! Find her! Now Stain addresses a bloodhound. Find the scent of human girl and earn your freedom. For my wife and pups as well. Everyone will go home. A knight removes a leash from the hound's collar. The dog sniffs the ground and lifts his head. He bounds off and a group of knights follows. Stain's horse tilts his head toward his rider. Dogs will believe anything. <laughs> Stain nods. Nighttime. Our view drifts past gnarled tree branches that curl eerily in the fog. Pale light glows on Alice as she wanders through the forest, her eyes cautiously scanning her surroundings. She stops and stares into the hazy distance, then continues on with an anxious look. <laughs> 